Hi, Catherine Kyle here from greenthickies.com and this is day one I'm sharing with you of my three day water fast. So if you haven't already watched the video that explains why I'm doing that, go and watch that first. And in this video I am sharing with you what happened on day one. So this is, I'm actually on day two right now, but I wanted to wait till the end of day one to share how I was feeling yesterday. So on day one, now I have prepared for this fast in advance. This is not something that I have jumped into lightly because I think I have tried fasting in the past and I found it really, really difficult. I couldn't last more than half a day. I was, I was so hungry, I was moody, I just couldn't bear it. So I thought I need to prepare myself better. So what I've been doing for a while now, maybe about half a year now, is I've been doing intermittent fasting. And that means that I, I avoid eating at certain periods of the day. So I have um, done this maybe once or twice a week some weeks I did it and some weeks I didn't do it. I, did, I wouldn't say I was consistent at doing this every single week, but I did it for quite a lot of times, maybe about maybe 10 times in total perhaps. So what I did was um, I started off by not having my breakfast and I would wait longer and I didn't actually feel hungry at all. And then I would eat my lunch as normal and it got to the point where my, my blood sugar levels were stabilizing and I, I thought, wow, I'm not even hungry when I get up in the morning now. So that showed me that it was time that I could progress onto the next level of intermittent fasting, which was to, to um, not eat for the first two meals of the day. And, and um, it's not necessarily cutting down your calories because you can eat all your calories in the full meal of the day. It depends whether you're trying to lose weight or not. For me, weight loss was a bonus, but for me, it was more about the health benefits. So I, for quite a few times, I managed to go without breakfast and lunch and just eat my dinner. So I'd done that quite a few times and I got quite used to it and it felt fairly easy to me. Like I knew that I could manage my hunger you know, just on that most of the day until dinner time because what happens is that like, most people think, oh, you're going to get so hungry and it's just going to get worse and worse and worse and worse until you're going to like explode with hunger. And um, and so I just wanted to put it to the test. And what, it's quite interesting, actually, if you've never done it before, because what, what happens is you you feel, you do feel really hungry, that, that sensation that you get when you just need to eat and where most people go and eat. And, and it, it's, it does feel quite uncomfortable when you're that hungry. And if you just wait, like for just like two minutes, it's really interesting, but your hunger just naturally starts to decrease and decrease and decrease. And then you, you just don't feel hungry anymore. And then it comes in waves like that. So like maybe a few hours later, your hunger starts to come up again. And if you just wait a little bit longer, it just dies down again. So it never really gets to a really, really uncomfortable feeling. It just feels manageable when you've got used to it. So I knew that I could handle like that much worth of fasting, but I'd never done three days worth of fasting. And I, I was really scared to, to start it. And I was kind of putting it off, waiting for a good moment, but now it's a good time. So how, how did I feel yesterday? So, I was kind of thinking, all right, I need to, I need to fast for three days. So I started this on Wednesday. So that means I was thinking, right, I need to fast Wednesday, the, all day Wednesday, all day Thursday, all day Friday, and then I'll eat again on Saturday. And then I, I did the maths and I thought, no, actually three days is 72 hours. So I fasted from Tuesday dinner because I haven't eaten after my Tuesday dinner until Wednesday dinner. And then I got to I got to Wednesday dinner and I thought I've already fasted for 24 hours. I can't believe I never it never occurred to me before, but I've already fasted for one whole day. So that actually means I only need to go until Friday evening, and I have something to eat on Friday evening. So that doesn't feel like anywhere near as long. And I thought, oh, that's that's much easier than I thought it was going to be. So it's cut it's cut down the time in my head that I thought I was going to fast for, which is good. So um, so that felt easier on day one. And um, how did I feel on day one? So I got up in the morning and as I was saying to you that I don't normally feel hungry when I, when I get up in the morning, but strangely, I was hungry. <laughs> I 
And, um, and I thought, this is typical. On the day I'm fasting, I'm actually hungry. First thing in the morning when I'm not normally hungry. And I thought, is it psychological or is it because it was like pancake day on the Tuesday? So I thought, um, I had, I did have a healthy dinner, but then afterwards I had one pancake and some maple syrup and lemon juice, like healthy pancakes still, but still it was, you know, the last thing I ate was, was the, the sweet maple syrup. So I thought maybe that's what it is, is making me feel hungry because I've, I've had a sweet thing in the evening. And um, I thought, right, I'm just going to ride it out and I'll be fine. And and I just waited a few minutes and it did it did just decrease and the rest of the day I felt absolutely fine I didn't I had less hunger than I normally do actually for some strange reason I mean it's been a little while since I fasted it's maybe been a couple of maybe a, at least a month maybe even two months I think before yeah I think before Christmas probably so it has been a while since I fasted and I didn't know how, how I was going to feel but strangely enough I felt better than I've ever felt with fasting and I had to make my the dinner for, for my family as usual so I was kind of stirring the dinner all these nice smells were wafting up and I was just I just thought I'll be fine and I also I told myself that um, like sometimes it, it does help to, to be like you know determined to do something no matter what but on this occasion because I'm feeling quite ill anyway, I thought to myself, I'm not going to, I'm not going to force this. I'm going to do it if it feels right, and um, if it doesn't feel right, and I feel like I'm getting re a lot worse and I can't cope with it, I'm not going to force myself to do the three days. I'm just gonna, I'll do as much as I can, and then I'll try it again some other time in the year when I'm feeling a bit stronger. So, um, I thought to myself, if I really need to eat dinner. I'm just going to eat dinner because even the, you know I will at that point I will have fasted 24 hours, which is really good for my body anyway. So, um, but what I'd heard why, why three day fasting is good, better than than one day is because supposedly on the first two days your body is burning the glucose that's already in your body, and and that's why on the first two days it can feel um, difficult. It can feel hard because your body is just needing more of that glucose and you're depleting it and your body's saying give me more, give me more. So you naturally feel hungry in the first two days. But when you get to the third day your body starts burning the fat in your body and supposedly it's it's a lot easier to cope with um, and you, you, your hunger goes away and you get this uh, big surge of energy which I really want right now because I'm not feeling, I'm feeling really sick and lacking in energy so I really am curious to find out if I get that on day three. So um, so I thought to myself, yeah on day one I'm just going to see if I feel hungry I'm going to eat and I didn't, strangely enough, I didn't feel hungry and um, and my kids were saying, why are you not eating dinner mummy? And I thought, well, what am I going to tell them? And I said, I'm just not, I'm just not feeling so well at the moment. So I'm just not feeling like eating. So I didn't want to explain the whole fasting thing to them. So I just kind of made myself a cup of hot water, and I just sat there while my family ate with them at the table, just drinking this this um, massive big mug of hot water because all I'm drinking is water throughout the day. And I just drank that, and I felt it really warmed me up, and I felt really nice because supposedly you can get a lot colder when you're fasting, and I'm a cold person anyway. So, um, so that felt it like that felt like a treat <laughs> because I hadn't hadn't eaten all day, and um, and then I was and then I was still fine, and then and then a couple of hours later, my husband said, "Oh, I'm going to make some toast because." Um, just want a snack, and I thought, oh, that that is like the worst thing to smell. When not that I really eat it usually anyway, but um, if you can smell toast and you smell that sugar in the toaster and it just smells so sweet and so nice, and I said, he said, oh no, it's alright, I won't eat it if you don't want me to, and I said, it's okay, um, you know, it, 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 I'm not going to eat toast anyway, but I'll just see, I'll see how I will cope, and. And I didn't even feel hungry when I smelled the toast, which was crazy. Like, I couldn't believe it. This was just really not me at all. And I actually felt really positive the whole day, like a lot more, because I've been feeling a lot quite down um, because I've been feeling so ill lately. And I felt really positive and I actually went out for a walk. I didn't feel, I didn't, I didn't have very much energy. I was kind of dragging my feet a little bit. I only walked for about 10 minutes and I came back, but I just felt really good and I, I took it really really slow and because um, this is what I'm like anyway at the moment so it was no different to that 
and um, and I just felt like strangely positive so I thought this is a really good day I've really enjoyed this <laughs> this first day of fasting so um, I went to I went to bed and I thought am I going to be able to sleep because you hear that when people are fasting that they can't sleep because they they're uh, they're so hungry and also because you're not digesting food you don't need to sleep for as long because you um, so you've got more energy and you just you just don't need to spend that time digesting the food and sleeping so I was wondering if I was even going to be able to get to sleep because I have had a history of insomnia and I did get to sleep no problem whatsoever but I did wake up at um, you know about four hours later and I had a really bad headache and I did feel really ill and I thought oh I feel I don't feel good at all um, and then I, I woke up feeling a lot of it better in the morning. So um, this is day two now and I haven't gone through the whole day yet. So tomorrow I will record another video and let you know how I felt on day two. And hopefully by that stage I'll be so close to ending my fast. So it's very motivating for me to, to do these videos and I really hope that it helps you as well. And uh, just a disclaimer, um, get yourself checked out by your doctor before you start these fasts because um, like I said I really built up to it for a long time because I know that you know I never used to be the kind of person who could do a fast so um, so yeah just and I, I read that you know most people can do like one to three days no problem but still for me it was you know it felt better to build up to it so um, I just wanted to share my story and I will see you tomorrow so take care bye